Hello all, my name is Craig Davis from Sacramento City College Geography Department and the following is a short video discussing imagery resolutions and some Landsat basics as part of my participation in the AGET Remote Sensing Project. As many of you know, remote sensing imagery can provide a great deal of information about the planet but can also be fairly complex. Learning some basics regarding remote sensing imagery can allow us to get a better understanding of how this information can be utilized to analyze our planet. Image resolutions, spatial, spectral, radiometric, and temporal, comprise one of these core remote sensing concepts and should serve as a good starting point to explore remotely sensed data. The first of these image resolutions is spatial. This resolution refers to the size of a pixel in an image and will determine the types of features that can be detected on the landscape. For example, an image with a 5 meter pixel resolution will sense a smaller portion of the Earth and give the ability to see more discrete features than an image with a larger pixel size. This graphic aptly illustrates this concept as the information presented in the 1 meter pixel image is vastly different than the 30 meter pixel image of the same area. Simply put, it is easier to detect specific landscape features such as roads and houses on the 1 meter image than it is on the 30 meter image. The same type of comparison can be witnessed when examining this 30 meter Landsat image of San Francisco to a 1 meter Iconos image of the downtown area. As remote sensing technologies and computing powers advance, spatial resolution is getting greater and greater and has resulted in some commercially available satellite imagery with 1 foot pixels. Needless to say, there are myriad spatial resolutions that are dependent on sensor specifications and differing platforms, which range from drones to airplanes to satellites. Spectral resolution is the ability of a sensor to detect energy along the electromagnetic spectrum at differing intervals and widths, referred to as bands. The bottom diagram illustrates this concept for the spectral bands on Landsat 7 and 8. These multispectral scanners result in the ability to combine bands of information to examine specific terrestrial phenomena. The graphic below shows a collection of different multispectral image combinations and includes a true color image and a color infrared image in the middle. Radiometric resolution is the ability of a sensor to detect and define slight differences in brightness values. It is readily apparent that the image on the right has more brightness values or contrast levels, if you will, than the image on the left. Different sensors have different radiometric resolutions with 128 and 256 values being fairly common. A sensor's radiometric resolution directly relates to the range of information that can be defined and stored as a value for each pixel in an image. This can result in the ability to then differentiate features such as water versus concrete versus forest. Lastly, temporal resolution is simply how often the location is sensed. Temporal resolution is dependent on a variety of factors and can be complicated by a variety of issues, such as sensor angle. That's stated in the generic, if a platform returns to the same location every 30 days, the basic temporal resolution is defined as 30 days. After quickly detailing the above remote sensing imagery resolutions, I would now like to give some quick information regarding the Landsat program and then specifically detail imagery resolutions as they relate to the Landsat 8 satellite. Landsat is a U.S. terrestrial remote sensing program that has been ongoing since the early 1970s. From then until now, there have been seven satellites that have reached operational orbit and have provided mounds of remotely sensed data for a variety of users around the world. Landsat 8 is the most current satellite in the Landsat program. The satellite has two sensors, the operational land imager and the thermal infrared sensor. It travels in a low Earth orbit and has an image swath of 115 miles. Landsat 8 spatial resolutions vary from 15 to 30 to 100 meter pixels. 30 meter pixels, about the size of a baseball diamond in field, dominate the bands of information collected by the operational land imager. The spectral resolutions for Landsat 8 consist of 11 bands between the operational land imager and thermal infrared sensor. As illustrated by this graphic, Landsat 8 has a higher spectral resolution when compared to Landsat 7, which has 8 bands. The radiometric resolution for Landsat 8 has been increased to over 4,000 levels of brightness that are then scaled to 55,000 levels and delivered imagery. This greatly increases the level of radiometric resolution from Landsat 7's 256 levels and will allow for a greater ability to differentiate terrestrial phenomena. The temporal resolution for Landsat 8 is 16 days. It should be noted that imagery for the whole planet is not collected every 16 days because of a variety of constraints, but simply that the Landsat 8 satellite flies over every part of our planet after 16 days. 
This concept is wonderfully illustrated by the embedded video from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. I hope that by presenting some of the basics regarding imagery resolutions and how they relate to Landsat 8 satellite has provided you with a bit of understanding regarding these foundational remote sensing concepts. If you are interested in learning more, please check out the videos on the EGET YouTube channel and the EGET Remote Sensing website. These last three slides contain potential content questions and answers along with references for this material. Thank you for watching this video and happy remote sensing.